Hello everyone, this is Imran Nemo and welcome to my YouTube channel. In this video training, I'm going to install and configure eWWW Image Optimizer plugin. If you want to improve the performance of your WordPress website, then you can work with this plugin. This plugin will help you to optimize your images. So I'm just going to get this plugin name. And from the dashboard, before I install this plugin, I'm just going to check the media library and you can see uh, the existing columns okay just i'm going to install the plugin now i'm going to search for the plugin here and here it is i'm going to active this plugin now Okay, we can see EWW image optimizer plugin has been installed and activated. Now you can see the setting options. Okay, before we check the setting options, let's see the media library option and just refresh. You can see a new column has been added and you have option to optimize these images. Okay, so let's check the setting options and from the setting options first you will get status dashboard and plugin status all clear the necessary libraries are installed on the server okay and in the setting options there are several setting tabs basic settings advanced settings resize settings conversion settings and webp settings okay let's start with this one okay so this site isn't a freshly installed site i just used this site and what should i say i have added several images so if your website is old and not freshly installed then you just check this option and you will see a new menu under the media menu it is called bulk option and just check it in the new window from here you can just scan for unoptimized images and then you will get option to optimize all the images and before i do that please get back to the setting options again and i'm just going to look over the all the basic settings and first thing is api key just we'll have to purchase an api key but the free version is not bad okay and debugging you can check this debugging mode but not necessary just keep it unset and remove metadata if you are a photographer or do any kind of business with your photo you may need to add your credit data in your photo like uh, or should i say the device you use to take the photos and the author of the photo etc if you don't want to remove the metadata just keep it unset or if you just check it it will automatically remove the metadata okay and and here goes the optimization level according to the image format so first of all for jpg first of all for jpeg optimization level you can just choose this lossless compression and for png you can also choose lossless compression or lossy compression okay and zip optimization level lossless compression and pdf no compression is available and backup optimization and backup originals and i think it's wise to keep backup of your original image okay but it will need the api key i'm going to hit this save changes button now it's time to check the advanced setting areas here you can provide any value to maintain the jpeg quality level by default wordpress uses 82 but you can provide here 90 to keep better quality okay or just keep it blank if you are satisfied with the wordpress default quality level 82 and parallel optimization if you want to optimize all your images when you upload the images I mean you will upload any image and this plugin system will automatically optimize your image. It is good but 
it may load on your server okay if you have good if your site is hosted in any strong hosting environment you can just check it to parallelly optimize your images and schedule optimization you can schedule optimization it's good and you can also include media libraries to scan all images and optimize okay and folder to optimization you can uh, define any folder here a specific folder to optimize it and you can also ignore any specific folder that you don't want this plugin to optimize okay and allow users tracking i think it won't be necessary just hit the save changes button now just check this resize setting options if you use exact dense cdn or if you want to persist it just you can check it here and configure that and resize detection highlight images that need to be resized because the browser is scaling them down only visible to for admin users add a button okay thus uh, you can just check mark it to re detect any resizable images okay uh, resize media images you can define any maximum width and height that will be maintained when this is this plugin will resize your images and you can also define max width and max height for other images okay and if you want to resize any existing images then you can check it here but i recommend before you do this resizing stuff please think about the existing theme and plugin which might have any custom image size okay uh, then keep this things default i'm just going to hit the save changes button now come here and check this conversion setting options okay from this panel we can hide conversion link we can delete original but i think we shouldn't delete originals and we can enable jpg to png conversion if it is needed and enable png to jpg conversion if needed okay and we can also convert zip to png i think this section may not be very important okay just let's say web p setting so before we did web p is a best image format for web if you want to optimize your website hardly they can then you can enable this and it will optimize your image it will convert your image to web p okay and force web p web p image will be generated and saved for all if you want that all of your jpg and png images to be converted to web p then you can just check it and hit save changes okay i just completed all the setting options now come here on the media library you can individually optimize all the images or you under the media menu you can come here on the bulk optimization and scan for unoptimized images okay just hit this button to start optimizing as you can see i have 925 images but uh let's wait for few seconds okay as you can see it has already optimized 120 images but it will take time and automatically the progress bar will show you so in this way you can just what should i say optimize your images so thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video please don't forget to subscribe my youtube channel and like and share this video thank you